Wow, we made it. <laughs> Thank you all to all of our speakers today for taking time out of your busy schedule to help us celebrate our flag raising. Good afternoon and welcome. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> drive home. It seems that 2020 has seeped into 2021 and has kept this crazy ride we've been going on. But yet, here we are, not being stopped and raising our flag and not show, and for sure, not stopping us from celebrating our community. So much has happened for everyone. Lost jobs, lost love, but certainly not lost weight. <laughs> we have watched, read, and listened to news and social media this last year, not knowing what to believe. So many things coming to, to the surface that we just didn't have time to listen to in the past. The world has become so angry. And it saddens me to see so many generally good, caring people ready to argue and fight at the drop of a hat. Violence is at an all-time high. The intolerance towards each other is off the charts. I admit, I have been angry also. Call me crazy. Say I wear blinders, I just want to see and feel the love again. The bullying against the LGBTQ2S plus community recently is truly shocking. First, the Trans Wellness Ontario Center was targeted multiple times. Then a local family became the victims of this ugliness. What did we do? We came together as a community and supported them to show our strength and voice. A voice that took many years to gain momentum, from a whisper to a roar. Our indigenous community has taken the worst hit, the atrocities of the residential schools. Our residential school survivors and families, we are here to stand along with you. Nothing can change what has happened to the indigenous peoples, but we can help make the current change. To many children stolen, generation Generational trauma has affected so many. The land has spoken and is bringing back those stolen children. And Windsor Essex Pride Fest is standing along with you. Today we raise the flag, but it will be coming back to half mass to pay respect to our indigenous and two spirit community who are here today. Let today be a new start of healing across Turtle Island for everyone. This quote from Jack Layton. This quote from Jack Layton really stuck a chord with me. My friends, love is better than fear. Optimism is better than despair. So let us be loving, hopeful, and optimistic, and we will change the world. Now that we have seen the light at the end of the tunnel and returning to some sort of normal, we must still be diligent in protecting each other. I would be remiss to say I am just a tad excited that we've gotten to the point where we can have a smaller, but at least a physical pride festival. 